Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to flatten a nested list so guys basically to flatten a list meaning making one list out of list of list so as you can see for example over here if we have the input which is a list which is containing more list over here so this is the outer list in this example and then inside this list we have the first element as another list which is having just one element over here then the second element is another list which is having two elements over here and the third third element over here is another list which is having four elements over here in this case now guys we want the output in such a way that we should get only one list which is having all these elements so this is the output that we are expecting that inside the open and close curly braces we are getting all these elements that are present as list inside this main list over here so guys we will be using the list comprehension to flatten the list in one line of code which is very useful in python programming language so guys let us check this with the help of the vs code over here so what we can do is simply we will define the list that is list 1 it is equal to i am simply going to copy this content of the list so guys let me just copy this and paste this over here now guys we will be using the list comprehension over here in order to go through the elements of this main list so what we can do is we can use the for loop and then we can simply have sub list as the variable name and then in keyword followed by list 1 so guys over here we are using the main list in this case now guys after this what we can do is this sub list will contain this particular list that is having one element then next time it will have these two elements over here and the third time it will have four elements over here so what we can do is again we can have another for loop and get all these elements one at a time using this sub list now so over here after list 1 we can use for and then we can simply use num as the variable and then followed by in keyword and this time we will be using the sub list because we are going to iterate through these elements over here which are the sub list inside the main list so over here we will simply provide sub list in this case and then guys we are going to have all the elements inside this num variable one at a time that is one will be present and then two and then three will be present and then these four elements will be also iterated one at a time and then it will be present inside this num variable now guys simply what we can do is the entire expression we can enclose it within the open and close square brackets so over here we provide open and then close square brackets at the end now guys before this entire for loop that is the for expression we have to provide this num variable so this num variable will be considered from this entire expression and one at a time all these numbers will be returned by this num variable and we need to catch it inside another list so let's say we provide the result over here and then equal to so this result will have the list data type since we are having this entire expression within the open and close square brackets over here and guys this is what we call it as list comprehension over here which helps us in order to write one line of code in order to achieve the task now guys we have the entire list that is all the individual numbers inside this result list so let us verify this we can simply have the print statement followed by result in this case so basically this result list we are printing over here on the console let me just save this file now and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting all the elements that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 inside one list instead of having different list over here if we print the original list as well we can have the original list over here as so we can simply provide the label that is original list followed by colon and then we can provide a list one over here and then over here as well we will provide the label that is result list in this case followed by colon and then comma and then we have the result so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we are getting the original list which is list inside the list so we have this one element as a list which is present inside the outer list over here then we have two three as a list which is present inside the outer list and then again the third list is also present which is having four elements but the result list is having all the elements in just one list in this case so guys this list comprehension is very important we write our expressions based on our requirements in such a way that we can achieve our task with one line of code over here which is possible with python programming language now guys 
there is another way in order to find the result list over here we can use two for loops that is the first for loop in order to go through the list one items over here and then the second for loop in order to go through these individual list inside the list one so guys you can practice on your own as a homework for you if you want to implement that using the two for loops that is the nested for loop in order to combine all these elements inside one list so make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs also you can like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to iterate over dictionaries using for loop so stay tuned